Greetings, I'm Chappers. I'm the captain. And I'm Paul Hainmarsh. Yeah, Paul's back! I and am. Today, uh, yes, we love it when Paul comes down because he's such a phenomenal musician. Um, you, build, and you build me up before these things, you build well, me up. Well, the pressure's on. Modest, modest with it. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's a new toy. We, we, we had a, a tiny weeny glimpse of this when we went to NAM back in January. Um, this is called the Firehawk 1500. Uh, Rob and I don't really know an awful lot about it, so... so oh, he was the one that defeated um, the Decepticons back oh, in the early right. original Firehawk, movie. Firehawk 1500. Yeah, yeah. combination what, of... Uh, what did he turn into? Well, what remember Arcee, like obviously a... Arcee gave birth to a new Transformer. Right. Which, a tenuous link, I can't think of anything else funny to continue on that particular <laughs> Let's paradigm. Let's get into it then. So okay. Paul, come on then, tell us, uh, in your own words, what a Firehawk 1500 is. Okay. So, well, the Firehawk 1500 is a 1500 watt what? Stage amplifier. What? <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. That's the kind of thing I would say in jest, but you're serious, I'm aren't you? I'm serious, yeah. Oh. So it's 1,500 watts. It's it's kind of PA wattage, so it's not like, it's not like it's not like having fifteen full Marshall four x twelve stacks or anything like that. Right. Um, but it is very very loud. But it is a six by. Well, well, that's that would be that, that would be too complicated to talk about that. So. Oh, okay. Just just now we will. But it would have to be a sick. Uh, no, no, that's that's too complicated. <laughs> okay. They're all different sizes. The speakers. They're, they're all different they're sizes. All different sizes. Yeah. So it's a fifteen hundred watt stage amp for somebody who wants to be able to use electric guitar, or wants right. to, be able to use acoustic guitar. They maybe want to use this as a wedge for plugging. You could run uh, backing vocals or drum machines into this, and actually use it as a stage monitor. So it's full range. It's flat response. Um, it sounds great for acoustic. It sounds great for electric. It's the Firehawk. Um, the Firehawk models in there, mm. so you have the 78 of the Podfarm models, there's a hundred different effects from Podfarm as well, plus you have all of the Pod HD models as well, so there's 50 HD effects, Wow. 29 of the HD amp models, all built into one box, that's going to do pretty much everything, more. plus it's a 1500 watt Bluetooth speaker that you can stream your music through and drive your neighbours crazy. <laughs> Thousand five hundred watts. Is that so that because the bass frequencies are emitted clean and absolutely yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. So it, it needs to be able to reproduce all of the low end and all of the really high top end right. acoustic guitar. Because we know acoustic guitar sounds terrible through a normal sure through a normal electric guitar amplifier. So to do that, it has the six speakers, but they're all different sizes. So it couldn't be a six by. 12. It it has, it's, it, yeah. it's six by random. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, so not, it must be that. ridiculously loud, though. It is, yeah. It is. Wow. It, well, you it, say, it's you loud. say it's, that. Because, you, you, know, you, you know, that, that obviously power to volume isn't of a linear thing. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, most people now, if you're, uh, you know, the, the, the popular PA, powered PA cabs, you know, the Mackies and the uh, QSCs and the Line 6s, and all, they're all 1,000 watt PA cabs. Right. You know, and you've got a pair of those on stage. And, it, and everybody knows that's not 10 times louder than the old 100 watt one that you used to have back in the 80s. No, it's no. Just, it's yeah. just clearer yeah, and yeah, yeah, fuller. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, yeah. But this is the yeah. most watts of an amp I have ever been in the presence yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah. It's probably, it's, I, I bet, and I bet an AC30 is still louder. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like one of those gorillas. AC30 is louder. The law of yeah. power yeah. meaning yeah. absolutely nothing. <laughs> you know, sort of. Um, yeah, but it's a, good, it's, a, it's a good talking point yeah. Yeah. as well. So, that, I mean, the reason why it does that, in terms of the speaker, we have the 12 inch guitar speaker in the center. Yeah. Um, we have two five inch speakers either side, but they're coax, so there's a mid, like a high driver inside one of the mid drivers. Coaxial. As well. Coaxial, yeah. Okay. Or dual concentric, yeah. And then right in the centre here, there's a one inch high frequency driver right. as well, which is just, just so you can reproduce all of those frequencies you want for music playback or for acoustic guitars or for electric wow. guitars. Wow. So, yeah. I'm loving, I, I'm reading the, uh, the, the, the information off the top of it. I'm You're loving cheating. The, yeah, I'm cheating. I'm loving the fact that what we're going to hear is the, the wet, dry, wet, all the guitar effects right, right, right. Uh, are going to come out in that. So, so imagine you've kind of. The ultimate guitar amp setup is the three amp setup where Sorry, you run the middle you said, one. It's because you said wet, dry, wet. Well, it's fine. <laughs> carry on. <laughs> yes, purely talking about guitars here. But where, yeah, where the middle amp is your dry signal and the two outside amps have the effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get ping pong. It's the and all ultimate, sort of just wall of just incredible guitar tone. So it'll be yeah. interesting to see if this kind of can do that. Yeah, I mean that, that's exactly that's exactly what it's doing. So your your reverb, your stereo yeah. delays, and your reverbs 
are now crystal clear like you would get yeah. from studio monitors or from from a PA. So you're hearing the all those reverb decays. They sound yeah. super. Oh, super if only we had an absolutely ridiculously great guitar player to show us that. <laughs> some tones can we yeah. just explain to the guys why it is that there aren't any microphones in front of it we can yeah because everything because it's because it's really a like a pa like full range thing everything that comes out of there can be di'd straight into a desk as well right so you could think of this almost as being a really loud stage monitor that's in front of you that's going to reproduce anything that you put into it so it's a completely um, different direction isn't it really because no one else has really done that uh, not in one amp not in one amplifier that I'm aware of. I mean, we have the Amplify 150, which mm. is similar kind of thing, but on a much much smaller, not on this much scale. much smaller scale. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, so this and this has all the features and all the sounds that Amplify 150 has as well. Mm. So all those great things we saw with sharing things from the Tone Cloud and mm. you know sharing sounds like instantly online, that'll do all of that as well. So you have all of those things. So what what the guy what we're going to hear in the room is the combo. So obviously you'll have to take our facial reactions as a guide as to how good it sounds. What you're hearing is DI'd from the back. So again, if you're listening through a stereo, um, you know if you're listening through a stereo pair of speakers or even a, like a 5.1 surround sound, you know you're going to get more of that. If you're listening through your iPhone. Um, you're not going to get all that. We have got a couple of just room mics that um, a little bit experimental on our part. Not entirely sure what that's going to pick up, but we'll try and blend in some of that just to give you that sort of vibe. But look, what do you want to do? I've also got Handycam here because you've got an iPad and a lot of the editing I'll and tell stuff. What, yeah, turn that on and I'll clap it in for you. So activate Handycam. It's activated. Is, is you, if you press the record button. I have pressed the record button. We're in. Oh look, if I'm not careful here as well, Pete, don't put any porn on Apple TV because it's now <laughs> it's actually in the shot. Again. <laughs> yeah, in fact, this is the first time everyone, this is what it looks like from our side of things. Yeah, they're going to uh, they're gonna gonna see, see a single croc on and top of that Marshall Plexi. Yeah, can I zoom, yeah, that really, in, really sums in. up oh, everything where's, about where, us. Where is, there it is, croc cam <laughs> with Sainsbury's carrier bag and everything. So yeah, if you periodically see uh, Rob and I laughing at nothing, it's because Pete's put something humorous on our television. Anyway, right, back in the room. Okay, cool, so like everything's can 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 and so now that we actually have, and you can take a look at the special goods over there, yes. while he's manoeuvring and jiggering them around, you'll actually know what he's doing. So back in the room, can you remember where we were, Paul? I think we we're just going to do some playing. Good. Yeah. So we were talking about clean sounds and yes. headroom. And I think we kind of, kind of you sort of mentioned this was essentially a Firehawk kind of engine, but with tons of other stuff. Yeah. And that the editing is. Although you can edit from the screen, you don't have to use the iPad. It's way easier if you yeah. have got the iPad or an iPhone Absolutely. or so Android. You can do this from the new FBV3 for controllers coming out. Cool. Um, so that'll connect to it. Um, you can alter any of the parameters from the actual top of the amp itself as well. So you can go in and deep dive them. So if you, if you hate the deep idea dive. of an iPad or you hate the idea of using an Android device, then you don't have to do that. And you never really need to take something like this to the gig. You can program your sounds, yeah. then tweak them like that. You deep dive at the gig. <laughs> Marvellous. <laughs> That's Paul Highmarsh's yeah, yeah, brand new, see, brand new we've catchphrase. Missed we've missed this. Okay, so the page that we're looking at just now is just a bunch of sounds that I just quickly dumped into this before when, well, as I, as I got here. Um, some sounds five. I used at the now thing. So, a uh, kind of a clean sound. <laughs> Loud enough and clean enough. Not breaking up like you know when you want that kind of proper and funky sort of sound. Tell the people why why we're we using a Variax. Because they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and the Cause other this reasons. Because this is my new Variax. So this is the maple neck one that I've just got. So the reason why I'm using this today is because like the Firehawk floor pedal actually has the Variax connectivity as well. So yeah. by using this VDI cable, that means that the amp can power the guitar. 
The amp can also switch the guitar as well, so it can switch the tunings on the Variax. It can do all kinds of clever things as well, which you'll see a little bit home. I think I had a VDR once. Did you? Yeah. Get some tablets for it. I saw a man for it. Was it? <laughs> we are, just in case you're wondering, we are going to plug in uh, a regular Strat and, and the no, 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 excellent no, no. Uh, Not a regular star. Strat. Well, all right, not a regular Strat, but Mine a, a non-Line 6 one. Um, and so you'll it's hear a, it with it's stuff. You'll hear it with this as well. It's a beauty. Incidentally, those that's the just the normal magnetic pickups on that. I'm, oh, okay. not, I'm actually not using Variax sounds cool. there, that's just the straight out of the, straight out of the, out of the guitar. Okay. So that was a kind of clean electric sound. Let's go for an overdrive electric sound. And you should be able to tell that the delays that I have on there are stereo, so oh, yeah. the folks at home won't yeah. be able to tell that, I wouldn't have thought, unless you do some clever... Well, let's they, they, they run simultaneously two laptops at the same time, <laughs> and then let them... But let the, them, the, the, oh, that's a good point, so the DI output is... Oh, so the DI output, are we running out in stereo? Yeah, yeah we were, we're running out in yeah. stereo. So well, okay, yeah, so they stereo... Were. But what you will be missing is the wet, dry, yes. wet thing. Yes. Yeah. So, so we have the main, the bulk of the main guitar sound comes with the 12-inch yeah. centre speaker, and the reverbs and the delays, anything that's in stereo mm -hmm. is coming through the top speakers as well. But it's all a ratio of the weight spread to the whole thing out, so it's not like if it switches delays off, it's only that speaker. So yeah. they're all kind of working at the same time. <laughs> Paul Heimlich, <laughs> the ratio of... The... So here we have like an overdrive electric sound, it's probably like a Marshall-y sort of thing. Why are yeah. they that They're all the same notes that I play, but <laughs> <laughs> Is that that oh, it's, an <laughs> it's the ratio of the wet. <laughs> um, lead electric, I think, is something like the Bomber Uber no, Shell. Oh, the Uber Shell. <laughs> Just naughty sounds, aren't they? Yeah, um, I reckon you could um, plug into a bucket and it would sound great, though. Oh, too kind, too kind, too kind. As long as that's, it was a one thousand five hundred watt bucket. That, the, the line six bucket that's coming out. Soon. <laughs> that is, that, 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 the Paul Heimarsh <laughs> signature line six bucket that's yeah. coming out. We'll see. Too kind, guys. Too kind. So, so I mean, let's say before you've got the, it's the biggest collection of amp sounds that Line Six have ever put in the box. That's you know, it's it's over two hundred different amps and effects in there. Everything from Pod HD, um, you know, all the all the, all the HD amplifiers and fifty HD effects, um, as well as all the Pod form amp sounds. As for, well, so. for people that are maybe a little bit technophobic and uh, uh, and thinking, oh God, I don't know about <laughs> using an iPad. Can we just show how easy it is to just you know take an amp and go here? Look, this is how we make it sound like a different. Absolutely, amp. yeah. So if I just click into Edit here. We'll see that we have, from left to right, we have all the, the, uh, the, the signal flow. Um, first of all, you'll see that we've got a Variax on there, so we'll get to that page in, in a second, but we have a bunch of different stomp pedals. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, an effects loop in there as well. You know, the effects loop can be moved anywhere in the signal chain, so because the iPads are so easy to use, if I just drag that <laughs> effects loop, and now it's dropped that effects loop in, that in post or somewhere sorry, else, pre, yeah. pre the amp, yeah. Um, I've got some reverb, I've got some delay on there. If I want to change the delay sound, you tap that, there's a delay. If I want to change the reverb, you tap that and there's a reverb. And then you, you just drag those bars across. Yeah, absolutely. So amp sounds, if I touch over here on this icon, I'm going to see all the high gain sounds. So anything that I want to audition, so let's say I want to go for a tread plate. So <laughs> That sounds really good. Out of interest, is that the kind of stuff you? Uh, is that the kind of stuff you play on your solo albums? It is. Yes, it is. Two solo. If you're interested in checking out some of Paul Highmarsh's solo album work, you should go to here. Bing, and uh, check it out. Yeah, you do lessons or some still. Skype, Skype lessons. lessons. Yeah. yeah, I um, must get myself some Skype. We're yeah. going on all kinds Hi of. Hi Paul, games. can we, can we learn <laughs> So once you've so, got an amp though, let's. I preferred that tread plate sound to the one that you've got at the moment. Can we go back to that one? Yeah, yeah of course we can. Yeah. So you know, he's all about the metal. I, well, I just, yeah. was, I like. So if the, I double tap that, so let's get a let's. Really heavy sound there. I like. So I'm gonna double tap that. Yeah. 
And when we Loads get those parameters. Screen. We have all those HD parameters as well, so things like the SAG. No, I actually quite like the SAG all the way down there. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I like all the mid-range more... scooped out and the basic privilege. <laughs> The SAG is just the way the power tubes, it's like yeah. the, the power tube modeling on that. So, a bit more dynamic to yeah. that. I'm going to put a bit more bass into that. That's great. I'm going to pull down some of that delay because it's a bit out of control. Um, and then I could add, you know, phase 90s, uh, mm. flange, pa any, any kind of effect this, of those 100 different effects. Wow. When, when you download the app, it, there are two different screen layouts aren't there? There's, there's, there is an iPhone sized screen layout which so it's not just this smaller is it? It's so it's sl slightly more intuitive. It's, yeah it's just, it's just how to lay everything yeah, out. Yeah they lay it different, out differently yeah. to make it sort of easier yeah. but I've got to be honest with you it's, it's, it's very iPad friendly isn't yes, it I think it, rather absolutely. than iPhone is what you really want to be doing this week yeah. if you can Yeah. or, <coughs> or any other tablet for oh, that matter. Absolutely. But I mean if you didn't have a tablet you can still use this, can't you? you can, yeah, you can do that from the app. If you've got the FBV3 controller, you can actually edit any of the parameters without taking your hand off the guitar. Nice. Same as you can do actually on the Firehawk as well. You can go into live edit mode, same kind of thing as the Helix as well. Borrow that technology across the devices. Um, and that means that I could actually change the delay mix, I could yeah. change the reverb, a decay, all whilst playing and all with a foot yeah. control by using the expression power. Apparently next year they're bringing out a VR headset and you just look <laughs> in the direction of the things you want just plug you play in. with a headset like can this. We, here, I tell you what. Why don't you get, get pick out one of your favourite tones and then play a bit of like off the High Marsh solo album. Like play like a thirty second clip. For okay. Me. Before we do that, yeah, perform for can, us. Can we? Yeah. Continue with developing this heavy metal sound for you. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. what I've really oh, liked yeah. is then taking the Variax page. So if you're a Variax owner. This amplifier really is everything, yeah. everything that you need in one box. If you guys don't know, uh, Yamaha bought Line 6 about two years ago. So there is, a, there is essentially a Pacifica-inspired uh, guitar, guitar uh, with Variax technology in it, which is the most affordable one. And then the one that Paul's got is a slightly older range of, of Variax, which is still current, yep. but, that, but that was designed with uh, James Tyler. Yep. So this is a sort of a slightly same technology, same electronics, but just a higher spec guitar yeah, yeah. they're all built, available good machine uh, yeah. and there's like a there's more like a, a les Pauli version of that in the tyler range isn't there and yeah there's like an ivan and a style like, like a sort of yeah. Yeah, like sort of rock, so rock style when we say variax it's not just this guitar there are, there are a range of variax product okay so the first thing that we have on that page is the variax the variax thing so if i press that that's going to open up all the parameters for the guitar. Yeah. Um, so the amp, so the iPad is telling the amp what to do, and the amp's going to tell the guitar what to do. I suppose if you want to look at it that okay. way, if, yeah. if you wanted to overthink. The chain of command. Yeah. So if I change the actual guitar models here, you should see on the screen that oh, it, yeah. it's it's learning which guitar I've selected. Right. It should even learn where the tone <laughs> tone pot is for that particular <laughs> particular pattern. That's as well. crazy. What's even crazier? My favourite thing on here. At the bottom of that page, I've got all the different tunings. So. <laughs> I can tune each string individually just by dragging. No. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> so now do that whole thing. If we want, we had a customer in the store yesterday who said he tunes to drop G or something ridiculous, yeah. wasn't it? We were talking so to. Be, so you, let's just tune could everything. Tune to, could you tune to E, but E, yeah. e two? <laughs> I can tune to. I mean, I can take that up or down an octave. Take that. E, take e that string. bass string to E. To, uh, to, uh, e. to to a low E. Okay, so we're going we're going low. Because uh, I've low, never low, heard this done before. Low, 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 low. Low. Actually, you can actually discern <laughs> really the note good. because yeah, it's really got good. the clarity. Yeah, okay. so, That's incredible. So, but if you're somebody who plays in a covers band and you want to be Keith, Keith Richards one day and you want to be Steve Iyer yeah. next day with a seven string guitar and like that, you can do that. If you just want to create silly noises. And drag. Oh, sure. So I can take that mess of boogie sound. But I say, if, you down, so if you're downloading songs in different tunings, Every t every single preset or every patch in there can have a different guitar, a different yeah. tuning, any of those two and different effects. Also incorporating your stereo effects loop as well, and then you can put that down. You, and like I said before, you can actually plug your backing vocals through the, the line ins in the back. Nice. Right. You can plug your acoustic guitar in as well. So it's a it's a fifty fifty stage on as well. Yeah. As well as saying. So yeah. Keith Richards goes yeah. goes Absolutely. heavy metal. So uh, what, one of the things I have been doing in demos. 
So the tie snakes in this is to take. So I have a Chapman seven string guitar. Yes, yes, you do. I do, and it is fantastic. Thank you. Um, sir. It's great, and I, I did a track for that, which is which is going to be on the on the new CD anyway. Um, for that, for going out and doing the live six the line six demo thing, I've been taking the bottom two strings so I can play that track. Yeah. Putting them in seven string tuning, so I've got a low oh. B. So I have a, a low B and a low That's A string. Really cool. And then I can play the top end of the guitar is normal guitar, but the bottom string. <laughs> So wow. what, what so, you're doing there is you're reinforcing the stereotype that seven string players only use the two different <laughs> strings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So wow, I mean, we can see how handy that is for. Well, yeah. For, for anybody, I, I do very all, practical. All, all kinds of things, yeah. Mm. So that's in any of those. And it's still like 120 patches and <sighs> presets in there. But if you pull, what will they think of next? Yeah. But if you're pulling them down from online, you know, if you're doing those sounds and you've got. All of those um, Line Six users all around the world mm. have access to you know you can share all those different sounds so it's it's limitless really what, I, what sounds you can download. It's going to say something that a lot of you guys might not know about Paul. We, we meet a lot of demo guys in this industry and a lot of demo guys work for uh -oh. companies that make affordable products and so they're like yeah, yeah it's amazing and then when you see them in their own band it's like they've got they don't use any of that stuff they've got, you know, they've got their <laughs> custom shop Strat and their Marshall Plexi and all that kind of stuff but you. <clears throat> And almost kind of like it's the freakiest thing. All your live stuff and everything, you're always out gigging with the Line Six stuff. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've I've got loads of nice gear as well. I've got nice amps and everything as well. But I, uh, Line Six just I'm I'm really lazy, and Line Six makes it possible for me to get the, the sounds that I have from the the Marshall or Soldano I've got. I can really easily take those out and get them to a gig and and do it. So I don't do it because I'm flying the flag particularly. It's just that's, it just that's makes what I mean. it just makes life much, much easier for me having yeah. this, you know. So the band just did a video shoot at the weekend and we used we used this amp. Yeah. Um well, so was saying, it. because you were using um I can't remember if it was Helix or HD five hundred into a a, a, a a line six PA cab. Was it a stage source PA so, cab? Well, I was you're using, the, using this now, aren't you? Oh no, but so I was using the DT twenty five. So I was using HD five hundred. Yeah, I had the right, yeah. full the full sort of dream rig thing that we yeah. were calling it at the time. Um, Helix subsequently came out, um, and now I, I'm, I'm Helix straight into the PA. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, Are you using the floor Helix or the rack? Um, uh, the floor one. Um, I have them both. <laughs> lucky me, yes. very very lucky to have. That. I think the racks, really, um, I think racks coming back, baby. I think it could. I think it's the first rack bit of guitar gear I think I've ever. Oh, I've get ever, a Sonic always... maximizer, get a Ted oh. effects, voodoo <laughs> valve. Let's go there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, let's go there, man. Um, yeah. So so now it's 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 just so easy. Just putting the helix on the floor and plug yeah. it straight into the PA. You know. So, well, can't. Um, I'm still pressing you on this. I want to hear okay. some of this new play some stuff. High Marsh solo album with a, with a, with a tune that you've uh, got. Whew. Okay. Shredding all over that. No, it's going to be that sounds like a cool track. Yeah. Um, what else do we want to hear? What have you got that's? Uh, I always think the toughest thing that that. Could gets you? I've got, got requests. I got requests. Go on. Could you play a little bit of like crazy bluesy lead? Something a bit yeah. spanky and like bit of sort of. Um, well, that's what I'm saying. In I'll, the style of sort of um, some of Lee's favorite, some of Lee's favorite players. Well, because that's always the toughest. Mm. 
for a modeling amplifier is because you know they, they there's those organic lot, crunches there's lots of you know axe effects and, mm. and and helix and stuff like that has has really nailed the sort of super high gain stuff and lots of artists have said and hey, maybe that's what I'm do. maybe just with a strap but, but yeah the, yeah i don't know who so, you know so still let me, let me give you that and let's say all everything i've done on that so far is just actually the magnetic pickups apart from the, the tuning, yeah, yeah sure the tuning thing that we heard i just so want to hear you play my strat Notice I've sold Rob another guitar. Entirely, Actually, strict, entirely. Strict, strictly speaking, as well, the transactional, the ownership does not pass until the funds are cleared into my account. So, it's uh, yes, the intention is there. Right, here we go. <laughs> Skype yeah. lesson. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. That does sound good. So that's it. Yes, that's it. Yes, Marshall Plessy sounds. Um, yeah. Should we? That kind of thing. Should we? Uh, do you yeah. want to give that like a, a kind of a something maybe that's a bit more um, Guns and Roses? Like, yeah, or Led Zeppelin-y or kind of you know something with a bit more Marshall-y and a bit more yeah, kind of do that. humbuckery. So are you guys playing guitar? Well, we might do. <laughs> well, no, that's kind of yeah. sort of I, I always kind of feel like <laughs> slightly reluctant to uh, to put myself yeah. there. Yeah. Hey. For no particular reason whatsoever. Right. So I like this new air guitar as well. So I mean, let's take Some, but something like classic heavy rock rather than modern. Okay. Cheeky! <laughs> Give me a chop. Now, uh, Paul Hindmarsh has dialed me in a, a wicked rock sound for a bit of riffy goodness on my new Strat, and I'm very excited. What's, what's the amp? It is a Plexi 100. <sighs> and we put uh, on, the, on the normal channel. With the tube screamer in front of that? Uh, we put a Chandler tube driver in front of it, actually. Oh, Nothing Chandler tube driver! <laughs> Awesome, sounds really good. authentic sounding, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum now. Give me the cable. Let's, let's try and find something. Uh, what would my dream amp kind of be? Have you got any sort of dumbly things? Or, or, um... <laughs> right up. What have you dialed in for the captain? So, the captain has a tweed basement on the normal channel. Nice. Um, Plenty of reverb, which again is the HD reverb, so there's a chamber reverb on there, and we dialed in a little bit, a little bit more, and there was a bit of stereo delay on there. So you got a 1500 watt basement, which is. I'm 
playing all fingers and thumbs because <laughs> I saw Paul doing it and now I can't do it. <laughs> Drive pedal right. just in front of it, yeah. just like not, nothing too serious, just like you know. A, okay, so drive pedals, just something. Uh, what might I like there? Uh, well, metal zone. That's the one <laughs> I knew. Uh, again, just like a TS 808, but uh, not yeah. a lot. Okay, cool. Let's so just double tap that, that'll load that up. Great sound for you. I'm not sure this guitar is gelling with you the way it should do. Oh, it's a but I, but it's I reckon a if you if you were to plug into this, um... oh for sure. If I strat it up. Lessons, man. No, no. <laughs> I wish. Um, that's it, though. That would be the Skype lesson, and then I'd be my entire knowledge done in five minutes. Um, so, okay, well, look, you I really understand wanna... it uses acoustics. It does. So, if I can hand one of you guys that. You can indeed. So, like I said, I mean, this you is the cable this little... as well. Hang on. Let's just do this and this. So, because this is full range, because it has all those six speakers and has all those amp models and all those effects, it means that we can stream music through it, we can put electric guitar through it, but really importantly, we can put acoustic guitar through it as well. So, you don't need to take an acoustic guitar amplifier to the gig as well, yeah. or rely on a sound guy getting all of the signal from uh -huh. that. Yeah. This is going to play back everything. So, from the lovely Anton store, we have a Yamaha acoustic. Um, it looks a bit unusual, but it does just sound like a normal straight yeah. acoustic. So, if you've got a full body dreadnought or anything like that, it's going to sound just yeah. the same. And it's using Peso? Yeah, yeah, just in case, I did uh, want so Yamaha's silent guitar series is um, designed to be uh, it's an acoustic pickup exactly the same that would be in a lot of other acoustic guitars, onboard preamp exactly the same as would be in a lot of other acoustic guitars. It just doesn't have the um, the, the body, so it, it's great for live use because you've got no feedback problems with this, it looks cool. Um, but anyway, so because you can't hide your beer gut. So I, the, I think the point, the point <laughs> we were trying to make is that, is don't think that the uh, this would sound just the same if we put a regular acoustic guitar yeah. through it. Abs absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Um, but I've got all those access to all those re those HD yeah. reverbs and everything as well. So. You just did like a da -da -da strum bit on the on the th the, the E and the V string. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it, looked, it looked like a chord. All I know is I'm it in D. It looked like a chord that was really complicated, except all your fingers were on the same string. So I'm, in, I'm in, in D harmonic minor. That's all I know. Oh, all the possibilities. <laughs> It was just part of yeah. the scale he was within. Because so, yeah, he's got his fingers down in preparation. Right. Just leaving fingers around. I'm told yeah. you I'm lazy. I can tell you're an Ingbe fan. Why move a finger when you when you don't have to? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so for acoustic guitar, electric guitar, you 
know, so it's it, it really is a it's a stage. Could we everything. hear? Could we yeah. hear the Variax being an acoustic? Of course we can. Yeah, because that's kind of here. Let's just under, so let's do, do that. Do you. that. Because uh, as we, if people don't know, one of the cool things about Variax is it does not just um, not just regular acoustic sounds, but also kind of you know uh, in Indian and or Oriental kind of sounds. So this would be a dobro in open D. Awesome. Um, so the guitar's in standard tuning, but. Can I just explain how good of a guitar player Paul Highmarsh is when in the room, because we're not playing very loud, we can hear the actual tuning of the actual strings roughly a semitonal thereabouts out from everything he's hearing from the amp. And you can see his face of Highmarsh concentration going, listen to the amp, listen to the amp, listen to the amp. And it was That's pretty funny. That's what exactly about just a, just a straight up and that, in, in, in the other room, that did sound all right, guys, didn't it? That, yeah. that was... <laughs> Can you just do like a straight up dreadnought, you yeah, know, in yeah, normal sure. tuning? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. so... Uh... Yeah. Us. So that's a, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just no, still no, straight no, 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 no. up. really hear it is you I think you played one note and let it ring for a bit and one of the very acts things is it is it um, emulates all that kind of um, wiggly hand what's that what, what like the internal resonances that go on and all the sort of sympathetic string noises and everything that you would get on an acoustic oh yeah guitar. not ring and everything yeah yeah, yeah it, you hear all that stuff and it, yeah. there was one note you played then you let it ring for like two seconds and you just started to hear it yeah I mean you're really, really cool you really hear that on things like the banjo sounds so it's actually it sounds like you actually hear the drone. Yeah. Like. And my old banjo. Come on! <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Well, look, what else do we want to tell the people about this here Hampton Fire? Well, I mean, really, I guess the thing to, to, to be aware of is, it, is it's a 1500 watt stage amp that will reproduce anything that you put yeah. into it. So whether it's electric guitar sounds, acoustic guitar sounds, uh, on the back of the amp there we have um, two two line ins. Yeah. So that could be keyboards that you run into there, it could be drum machines that you put into there. It could be a feed from your desk with your backing vocals as well. So instead of having all your sound coming from a monitor at the front that right. looks like a PA monitor, you now have something that looks like a traditional guitar amplifier, yeah. but all your guitar sounds, your acoustic sounds, and your backing vocals, yeah. and whatever you need to monitor on stage is coming from that. Mm. You know, so. Well, we'll do some, perhaps whilst Paul was talking there, we'll have done some sweepovers so you can see the front and the back of the amplifier, but also it has a kickback stand on it as well, so it sits at an angle which we'll show you. Yep. Um, I think, to be honest with you, the only thing I would do to improve this, I think I just, I would have made it louder. You know, like maybe, <laughs> maybe 5,000 watts or 10,000, you know. So yeah, why not go 10, Sometimes I worry watts. that 1,500 watts just won't be enough for the kind of gigs yeah. that I'm doing. Yeah, that's right. you, um, could, you could take those line out of the PA. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Or have two of them. Want. Maybe have two of these. Yeah. Or three of them in an actual wet dry, wet dry, wet dry, wet dry. Yeah. It would be amazing. <laughs> So oh, you're, and so one of the other things that we should probably talk about, and just very briefly, is that for guys who are using the Helix, yeah. you can use this as a wet dry wet signal all from one amplifier. So you could run the dry sound from your Helix, your dry amp model, plug it into the top of the amp and have your Helix dry sound come through here, yeah. and then have a different path on the Helix with your wet effect and run those into the line in the back so your wet sound came through your two speakers at the top. Right. So, is there so, anything they didn't think of? What's this button here? It says espresso on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so you're currently gigging using 
What? Helix? Uh, yes. I've done a few gigs with this. Yeah. Mm. I've seen I, you on YouTube with this. Yeah. yeah so there's this, there's Helix into the... It's just a Line yeah. 6 dude, you know. Yeah. It's like, Absolutely. It's great, um, it's great stuff, you know. I'm, I'm, <sighs> it's, it's pretty compact, isn't it? I did notice when I... It, it, it's, um, if you've got, it, it's heavy. It is. I don't know if we've got... I'll, I'll put a spec in the link below here, but it's, you know, it's Valve Amp-esque in terms of its weight. It is. Um, so there is this, there's a case coming out for it as well. Um, really? Um, there's a Line 6 case which has wheels and it's like one of those really... It's got an engine. Is it a car? Yeah. It, it's, like a, it's like a luggage suitcase so it has a pull right. handle oh, and it has cool. the wheels on it. So that's you can sit on it in popular. airports and wheel yourself around. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But it's really Absolutely. nicely finished, isn't it? And, obviously, I think as we as we'll sort of end this uh, demo, perhaps we'll play out with some nice more playing from Paul. It's um, impressively priced, isn't it? It is, yes. I mean, it's very. Yeah. You don't know how much this is, do you? No, I don't. So okay. So bearing in mind that what we've shown and I would have said it was at least eight nine nine to a grand. Yeah, good shout. Well, it's less than that. Well, I'm. Sh I know it is now because you said that, but yeah. but I would have immediately gone retail eight yeah. nine nine. See, I because I kind of think back and this reminds me of some of those early Line Six amplifiers. You know, the what AX two one two and some of the Flex yeah. Tone and where where they were like fifteen hundred quid type amplifiers. Yeah. And I was sort of thinking it wouldn't surprise me if that's the sort of dough that. Mm. But it's seven forty nine. Huh. So it's it's it's, good. it's kind yeah. of I, even as a fifteen hundred watt acoustic guitar amplifier. Well, yeah. So mm. Just just even if it just did that. That's yeah. Not, well, I, I, I was thinking that you know I mean how many people are going to drop. 700 quid on one of those little AER, you yeah. know, which is a great sounding yeah. acoustic amplifier. And of course, probably half the reason you would buy that is because it is this big. Yeah. But as a performance thing, yeah. and for the same price, yeah. it's like, well, we did every a video. Time. The video thing we did on Sunday was for a full, like, which is the band, the three and four gorilla band. And we hired a venue and I took that mm. and we didn't go through the back, like, the, uh, through the PA. Yeah. And that was loud enough to go through rock songs, do playing acoustic guitar on all the tracks. Yeah. Like yeah. Over, a, over a loud drummer. And so. Also, High Marsh is on mm. SoundCloud, aren't you? I am, I don't put much on there. Bandcamp. Do a lot of stuff on Bandcamp. Bandcamp. All right. Face Pornhub. Facebook. It's everywhere. Ah, good. Oh, so, that's yeah. it. Just as Line 6 were about to share the video, they're going, we're not sure. Oh, no, do you? Share no. Share no. <laughs> um, well, look, come on. Let's just play us out, Paul, with something that we'll remember. And, uh, and then that's it. Fade into nothingness. And I've been the captain. I've been Rob. And I've been Paul Hangwash. Thanks for watching. Marsh. It's just a dude, you know. Yeah. It's like, Whew.